Familia de Con la Hoja Se Llena, tenemos el gustazo de estar aquí con Kyle Higashioka, el catcher de los Yankees de Nueva York. Kyle, thank you so much for being here with us in this interview, first of all. And we would like to talk to you because during the time, this is the Spanish podcast of the New York Yankees, yeah. and every time that we interview uh, one of the pitchers, Latinos, they talk wonders about you. They always praise you and they say how much you have helped with everything. What can you say about some of those guys that you've been together since the minor leagues? Yeah, I mean... Uh You know, every everybody that I came up with here, um, you know, especially the Latino pitchers, they, um, you know, they're, they're some of my favorites, and they, you know, we've got some nasty guys here, and um, it's always it's always a, a joy to catch them. So, um, you know, I just, and I'm glad that you know they've kind of accepted me, um, you know, as a as a teammate. I try my best to to speak as much Spanish as I can. So, um, you know, I, I I really enjoy playing with them. How is that? What like? How's your Spanish right now? How, like, uh, what, like, how's that? How's that communication? Because many of them, every time that we have them on the show, they say that how much you help them, and I always wonder, like, how's he Spanish? And they say, no, no, we, we understand each other, right? Yeah, uh, yo puedo conversar en español, pero no, 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 no puedo, no puedo hablar con fluencia. Pero puede decir slider, recta, sí. cambio. Yo, yo puedo decir como casi todos los los palabra, palabras de que, que vamos a usar en béisbol pero otras cosas uh, no sé wow I'm very impressed thank you so much super bien I mean now staying on that on that um, point when when you're you guys are in the game right Many of the, the pitchers in the Yankees, also also the American guys, but they relate to you so much because you you've been in this organization for so long. What does it mean for you to be a Yankee? Uh, it's it, you know it's it's always a privilege to be uh, putting on the pinstripes every day. Um, you know it's no matter if we're if we're good or or if we're struggling. It's um, you know this is this is the best the greatest organization in history. So. Just to be able to go out for this team every day is is always an honor and a privilege, um, and it's never something you can take for granted. Who was that player or that baseball guy that you idolized when you were a kid? Um, I liked a lot of guys. I mean, Ken, Ken Griffey Jr. was my like first, you know, the the first guy that I really just like idolized. You know, he had the video game. I played it. You know, Me too. He was the only guy. He was the only real player in the yes, game. Yes, I remember. So, yeah, but um, uh, Gary Sheffield was another one. Mike Piazza, Posada, um, Manny Ramirez. I mean, Andrew Jones. Those are those are kind of my guys. Wait, but so you made your dream come true because this year I remember you being in Miami wearing that USA shirt on your shirt on your on your chest and you were there with Ken Griffey Jr. You know. Tell me about that experience representing your country in the World Baseball Classic and had the chance to have Ken Griffey Jr. You know, there with you. Yeah, it was it was really special. I mean, it if I could do that every year, I would because I mean, it's it's probably one of my most cherished baseball memories. Um Being able to play in like meaningful games during March, and um, you know, having the opportunity to work with the coaches—not only Ken Griffey, but um, you know, we had Andy Pettit, Brian McCann, Mark DeRosa. You know, a lot of a lot of really, you know, big-time guys that I watched growing up. Um, and then the roster was incredible too. So um, it was it was a fantastic experience. Of course, you are very young. You're gonna still have a great career in Major League Baseball. But once everything is over, I think that you you said before you you love this game so much. Would you like to, once you retire, be a be a manager in baseball one day? Uh, maybe, maybe. We'll have to see. I mean, I haven't really thought about it that much because um, I don't want to yet. <laughs> no, you have a lot of time. Uh, yeah, I mean. We'll just have to see where, uh, you know, where, where my career takes me. Hey, thank you so much for being here with us in this interview. And I'm going to let you send a message to all of the Latino fans that are going to be listening and watching to the Yankees podcast La Semana de los Bombarderos. Go ahead. All yours. Oh. Uh, <laughs> para los fanáticos de los Yankees, uh, gracias a todos por apoyando. La, la soporte es, es 
yo estoy muy agradecido por todo la soporte.